Hey what's up guys, this is Evers313 and in this video I'm going to show you how I study law in university regardless if it's foundation or degree. So in this video I'll be showing you the technique that I've been applying and practicing throughout my whole life in, in, in law school particularly. So without further ado, let's just jump right in and before that I'd like to say that maybe if we were to practice this sort of technique and method it might be beneficial for everyone because everyone has their own uh, ways or method of studying so perhaps it can give and shed some light onto you if you were to pursue law or if you're currently studying law so let's begin so first and foremost uh, I'd like to divide this video into three parts which is firstly uh, using online databases uh, secondly, that is arranging your notes, creating folders and files and stuff like that. And thirdly is that uh, if you want to find cases or important points when you go through books or materials and other forms of notes. So we shall begin with the first subdivision that is using online databases. Uh, so as you can see, every university has their own online databases. If you have any law courses there, for example, um, perhaps I think maybe you University of Malaya has an online database, maybe USIM has an online database, maybe IIUM has an online data database, maybe UKM. But as a UITM student, uh, we have our own online database and it's called as PITAR uh, online database, which is Pustakan Tun Abdul Razak. So here's the example, here's the page of the online database. So once you're there, it will say something like e-resources. So once you're here, you can either click on the letter L for law or LexisNexis or C for CLJ or J for JSTOR. But for more of a convenience, you can you guys can straight ahead and click this panel here, this tab here and scroll or find the related subject of your course, which is of course law, obviously. So once you've clicked law, you'll be given a lot of, or, or yeah, links to very very important pages that you might that you want to use if you were to do your assignment your assessments or if you just want to have some materials to prepare yourself before you enter into examinations so i will usually and prefer to use three important sites for the sake of my cgpa for law school and among them is clj law uh, secondly i will use jstor and thirdly, I will click on Lexis Advanced Malaysia. So let's go into CLJ Law first. So this is the page of CLJ Law or CLJ Net. But you just you can get you guys can just click sign in straight away, and it will lead you to the search directory. And here is the search directory. So you have the um, freedom to search for case law, legislations, articles, and important catchwords. So in the search engine, you can just type in any case or anything you want. Maybe perhaps the most famous case is Carlo Carbolic Smokeball. But I, I like to like tell you guys early that CLJ law is only for Malaysian cases, I guess, because CLJ is current law journal. It's only Malaysian cases. So if you want to find UK cases, if you want to find Indian cases, you want to find Australian or New Zealand cases. This is not the website for you, I, I believe. So if you were to type in Carlo Carboli Smokeball, which is a English UK case, I guess. Call it Carboli Smokeball. And then you type in search. You don't have it in your results. So if you were to type legislation, if you want to find the Contracts Act, Contracts Act 1950. It should pop out. Uh, they didn't provide the legislation here. I'm, I, I don't know why. Because CLJ law doesn't give you direct search stuff. So, which is a little bit of a bummer. But if you were to click article, maybe you can find something related to law. Let's type in relate to contracts. So yeah. Not exactly, because to be honest with you, I don't, I'm not really sure to why the search engine results is not that accurate for CLJ law. But there is always the answers, there's always the results. So you just have to keep on finding because I always use CLJ law and sometimes I often get the articles and cases that I want, sometimes not. So you have to be a little bit more strategic and have a little bit of tactic when you use CLJ law. Secondly, 
you guys can use JSTOR, which is where you can find so many journals and articles or books related to anything that you guys want to search for related to your course, related to your subject, be it contracts, maybe admin law, criminal law, land law, anything like that, or even torts. So once you're on this page, you can type in just about anything that you guys want. So for example, if you're working on a torts assignment or a contracts assignment, let's say offer acceptance. You guys can type in offer and acceptance. And it's loading. And there you go, you have the page where you guys wanna search for offer and acceptance and there's so many articles. Like, see, you have 96,000 search results, just offer and acceptance. So this is gonna be a huge boost, a huge leap for you if you wanna do your um, assignments. And yeah, there's so many of them. And you, guys, and you guys can click on them, save them, cite it, and just download the whole article for your own, yeah, for your own perusal. So that is JSTOR. Uh, let's look at one example. Uh, maybe offer acceptance is one, the first link. So yeah, here it is. The whole article and you guys can just download it right here with, with a single click. Download PDF. Now we're done with the, the now we're done with JSTOR. We can now Go to now we can go to LexisNexis and here it is Lexis Advanced Malaysia. So again, let's use Carlo Carbolic Smokeball as an example again. But I do have to warn you that you have to be very very careful with the cases because there are cases which is not from Malaysia. There are cases which is actually from India, which from other Commonwealth countries. So for our search right now is Carlo carbolic smoke ball again it's not a Malaysian case it's a case from the United Kingdom so you have the Malaysian flag here the icon for flags so you guys click it here and then you'll give you a lot of countries flags here so what you want to do is click on the United Kingdom only then you type in Carlo carbolic smoke ball Carlo and carbolic smoke ball Okay, let's just wait. And here it is, your search results. And you have the case right there, Carlo Carbolic Smoke Ball. You can click on the name, you can click on the citation, whatever, whatever you guys feel comfortable with. And it'll lead you to the case. So this is the whole case. And if you guys want to download it, there is the link on the right over here. Uh, you can download it here or Another way is that you can download it with this icon over here. Download. So, uh, this is all not important. All you have to do is just down, uh, uh, click download. It will load up. It's processing. And voila! You have the case right here. So that is pretty much it for the first subdivision. Let's just move on to the next part which is making notes and arranging your files. So yeah guys, this is another uh, method or technique that I've used, which is using uh, Google Drive. It's really easy to use, it's very convenient, it's really reliable. So if you were to study law, then you need to organize and structure the things that you do, all your work and assignments and stuff like that. So once you're on Google Drive, you wanna create your own folder. Uh, for me, I've named my folder with my name and the semester that I'm in, as well as the year. So in this folder, you wanna make lots and lots of different folders, each subject that you're studying. So I'm semester three right now. I'm about to enter semester three. So I'm gonna be making all the files and folders that's related to my um, semester. So for example, I have admin law. I go name it admin law, I create a new folder. I go right click again and I click new folder and I and I type in equity. All right, and this process goes on and goes on and on and on. So I have many other subjects. This is just a brief example. So if you wanna to go to admin law, you go to admin law, make more and more separate folders. You make um, one for tutorial. You make one for um, lecture. Loading. Okay, and then you make one for assignments. 
you make one for um, cases, I mean, cases or authorities. Authorities uh, includes cases and articles and journals like that. Yeah, that's like basically it. It has to be very organized. You have to be very, some sort of like more structured. So once you've created all these files, folders, again, click on each one of them. For example, go to lecture and name them and, and, and right click and type Google Docs. And name uh, and name your first ever file as um, week one. Uh, perhaps like for week one is introduction to admin law, something like that, and type it all in. So this way, it actually saves a lot of paper. It saves a lot of ink and money. So because we are living in the twenty first century, so we have to somehow learn and adapt to online platforms when you want to study so yeah you, can, you guys can use this method to study as well and this saves actually saves me a lot of time I can just immediately access it online and down uh, and print it out whenever I want and share my work with other people so it's really easy and very very uh, reliable all right for this subdivision of this video I'm gonna be finding the cases and important points within law book so I'll, I have my uh, contract law in Malaysia by Chong Mei Fong and as you can see uh, we just open up the book. And so if you want to find a case related to carbolic carbol smoke ball, you can either first uh, think which um, chapter does that case belong to. So as a law student, uh, as somebody that's been that has already studied uh, contracts, you you'll you really immediately know that that case is from the first chapter, which is offer and acceptance. So. You can go to the contents and you can see um, all of this. So you guys can get, go straight ahead to offer. We're at page 15. So let's go to page 15. Uh, Alright. Alright, here's a page 15. So you don't you didn't find the case here, right? So just keep on searching for it. And here it is, the case of Carbolic Smoke Ball. And as you can see, if you want to find a citation of the case, you will always have this number right here. Wait, hold on. You can see the, num the number three. Can you see the number three here? So all you have to do is go all the way down, and then you'll find the three, and that's the citation. So if you want instant results on uh, MLJ, you can type this citation, and it will lead you straight away to the case or but if you don't know where the case of car little carbolic smoke ball is you don't know which chapter it is eventually you can always go to the contents again uh, go to the contents and then they will list out all the cases within the books so you have the table of cases so all you have to do is find the case of carl carbolic smoke ball within the contents okay this is the Yes, and uh, can you guys see it? Yeah, here it is. Carla Kabrook Smoke Ball. And you can find it on pages, on all of these pages. So it's really very useful if you want to find more elaboration of the case, not just on page 16. But you guys can find it on other pages for more reference and more elaboration and emphasis about the case. So yeah, a yeah, very useful way of finding the cases. So I think that's pretty much it for today's video. I want to say thank you guys so much for giving your time, spending your time here on this video and watch how to actually study for law. I have to admit that, again, this might not be applicable to everyone, but this is how I've been studying so far. And I guess it, ha it has been working out for me some for a, a, a little bit. It does give some bright insights, something that's very, very useful, very, very, um, helpful for me uh, in in my pursuits of studying in my uh, auspices and my, um, in my in my endeavors when I'm studying law so I guess that's um, pretty much it for this video I'll like to say again thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you like this video um, do subscribe to my channel like and share the video with your other friends if you like and until next time see you guys